Hi guys, um, hope you're having a great morning so far. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe and washing their hands, making sure they're um, listening to their parents and also um, displaying the kindness um, that we all know and love. So what I would like to do now is I just wanted to show you my little setup, how I set up my table with my art materials. So first of all, I have my watercolour paper here. It's got a very nice texture and that helps to absorb a lot of water. Next, I have my watercolour palette with lots of different colours in it. And what I can do with this is I can use this section here with my palette to mix new colours. So this I just need to give this a bit of a clean and then I can mix new colours in here. I also have my ink pens. So I have two ink pens. One brown and one red. This is the pen itself and then you choose which metal nib, it's called a nib, what you would like to add to your pen. And then different nibs are used to create different effects with the ink. So if I have this one, it's very thin at the end. Can you see it's very pointy? So that I would use to do something that's very detailed, very, very um, magnified. Maybe like a really, really small pattern, something like that. And maybe a nib like, let me find one. This one is very wide, as you can see. That one I would use to do very thick strokes. So something that, yeah. Okay, good. So that's what I use my ink pens for. Okay, moving on. I also have this palette, which is similar to what we use in school. Um, so it's a very, colourful one compared to my little one you can see I have to mix more colours on this one mix them myself but with this one we have a lot of bright colours like the purple the blues oops, and the um, orange pink so that that's one I would like to use if I'm doing something very quick and I don't have time to mix a lot of colours Okay, also I've got here my inks that I use. Can you see how very liquidy they are? What I like to do is I like to combine ink and watercolour together to create nice images. Um, I'm not going to be um, painting anything right now. What I would like to do is show you some examples of my work. And then in the next video, I will be doing a demonstration of how I use ink and watercolours to create different effects and images. Okay, here we go. So, what I like to do is I like to use different size brushes. So, for example, this one is a very thick brush. And what I would use this for is to create long rectangles like this. So I would use this type of brush to create those long rectangle strokes.
here I've got some watercolors that I've done these are the circles I did in only watercolor so I, what I did is I got my brush dip it in some water dip it into my watercolor palette and then create my circles carefully nice and carefully so I normally what I do I'm going to be showing you in, in the next video I will draw around my circle first with my brush and then fill it in color it in with my watercolors here as you can see here what I've done is I've added effects on top added some designs on top of my watercolors using ink so using my ink pen that I showed you earlier I've added different designs on top and that's an easy way for us to add layers to our work yeah so creating a 3d effect making your image stand out yeah okay same here so these designs um some of these designs that are showing patterns i might use to make a greeting card so a nice card for someone's birthday or something that someone might enjoy um receiving in the post from someone that they care about um i've also got this one which is very very intricate so when i say intricate what i mean by that is something that has a lots of detail so what i've done with this one i have a, a layer at the bottom so my background for this image is done in watercolors so i've got my watercolors with my dip my water dip my um brush into the watercolor palette and then i've used it to create different shapes so i've created triangles with pink and yellow and then i've painted the green around it and then i've used my ink pen on top to do the designs in black this is another one so i'm just showing you how you can make your image stand out more by adding the black details to it and making it pop now i would like to show you some of my works that i have done over the easter holidays so here's a little watercolor painting that i did over the easter holidays um i really enjoy nature and this um shows how much i enjoy being around the sea being in the countryside and also enjoying nature um in terms of flowers um and just feeling the breeze and breathing in clean air lovely fresh air so here is one of my watercolors then we have more colorful bright one this is showing somebody who is very free and creative we have another one here these ones are done in watercolors only so as you can see here i've used my watercolors and created lots of shapes that go around In my work, I like to focus on how I feel. So my art is used, that I use my art to express how I'm feeling that day. And you can also do the same. Here is another one. I love tulips. Those are my favorite flowers, so I thought I'd draw 
a person, a lovely person holding a bunch of tulips. Here's another one. So for this one, I have used only watercolours, but I have used a very thin brush to do the little details. So to add the petals onto the long stem and to actually do the smaller flowers and to paint the raindrops. Here's another one. In this one, I have created a border going around. Can you see that line, go, that dotted line going all the way around? Created a border for my image. And I've used very bright colours in this one to represent how I was feeling. So as you can see, I've used a lot of shapes and included lots of different types of flowers. Then, moving on, I found a really interesting African art book and I decided to use my watercolours to recreate and draw what I could see in the book. So there were a lot of beautiful wooden sculptures and I used watercolours in my own way. So I haven't chosen the same colours as what I saw. I've used my own colours and I've painted the wooden carvings in my own style. So when you're an artist, you have your own style. And... That is something that you develop over time. So that is something when you practice a lot at something, you will, in the end, have your own style. So here is one of my paintings of a bust, which is, it's like a, it's what I would say, it's like a wooden head. So up to the neck. But it's a very beautiful wooden sculpture. So here I've used my really small brush, my really fine brush, to do, to use in my watercolours and add the black detail on top of the blue. This is something I'm going to demonstrate in a little while. So here we have another one. This is a wooden statue and I have thought about different shading techniques so what I've I've used my watercolors lightly in some sections so you can see here it's very light brown and then I've gone a lot darker in other sections so I just add a little bit more black onto the brown just to just to make it look a little bit more 3d here's another one statue so something that would protect and ward off evil spirits so, yep, that's it that's what i would like to show you these are my paintings from easter um i have got some other ones to show quickly um some flowers so with these flowers, I have used, if you can see, it's very shiny in certain parts. I've used a graphite pencil to add detail around my watercolour flowers. And then here... I have created a piece of work only using watercolours because this is not finished yet. So sometimes I create pieces of work and then I decide, okay, what am I going to do with this? I might come back to it another day. So 
I leave it on the side for a little while and then I think, oh, I can add something to this. So that's what I do. Then I might add some details with some inks on top. Okay, that's it for now. So that's all I want to show you for now. Um, I'm going to um, start a new video now and demonstrate how I use the ink and watercolour together just like I have in my little artwork here so we're going to create some patterns and we're also going to do some flowers <laughs> 